What's up everyone? This is Johnny of Johnny Cell Productions here. I know it's been a while though I recently just got some new equipment that I'm actually really excited to unbox here. And before I unbox them, um, right here is uh, the uh, Zoom H5, which is a four track portable recorder. I've actually been looking forward to actually getting one of these and I can't wait to start unboxing this. But now next here is uh, the H5 accessory pack, which is the accessory pack for this, of course. One of the things I actually am looking forward to uh, getting it from inside this accessory pack is the power adapter for this, which will come in handy. And then last but not least, I'm going to unbox uh, this uh, SD card here, which will be for the H5 over there, since uh, there's no SD card that came with it. So, so you know, I'm going to start ahead with uh, the SD card here. Uh, from the looks of it, I know it may look overkill for for the rest of those who are into video and the such. This may be overkill for the for the handy recorder, though. I figured, you know, just why not? Why not for the heck of it? Future proof myself. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm actually looking uh, looking through my phone here as I record this. Oh, hang on. I'm kind of massacring this box here. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I probably shouldn't have been doing that, but oh well. What can you do? <laughs> Let's see, Secure Pro Deluxe Free Download. Hmm, I'm not sure if I'll use it, but there, there it is right there, the SD card. Though, you know what? I'd like to go ahead and peel this open. Where is that? Oh, I think I found it. I'm trying to find a place to unpeel this. Uh, shoot, it doesn't look like I can unpeel it. That's odd. Must be something. Or, or unless do I have to like rip this open, which I probably shouldn't. You know what could have come in handy for this? A knife. Alright, I just found a knife. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open like that. And there it is. There's the SD card right there. The uh, SanDisk uh, Extreme Pro 32 gigabytes. Which uh, 32 gigabytes does so happens to be the the Zoom H5's uh, maximum capacity, the maximum that it can handle, so I can't wait to put this in. Now let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And, um, you know what, maybe I'll start unpacking this accessory pack here for the H5 next. Starting from, actually, let's go ahead and give this box a good look here before we unbox it. Maybe I'll probably jump, uh, jump cut or censor that serial number. Oof. Yikes, how am I gonna... Oh! Looks like I can... Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Looks like there's, um... Information about a disposal or something like that. Oh yeah, just disposal information. Yep, this looks like the windscreen. Yep, this is the windscreen for the H5. And then, oh, there's the AC adapter there, but I'll get whatever's next here first. Uh, this story here is the remote for it, which will come in handy. Yeah, it's the trans. Yeah, that would be the transport controls for it. Yep, yeah, this is what. It's basically like a remote for the H5, which looks pretty neat. And uh, looks like. Oh yeah, I believe this is the uh, USB cable for powering the uh, adapter. 
Looks like another cable is in here as well. You know what? Let's go ahead and unwrap these. And uh, yeah, this is this gives us a better look. Yep, that's a micro USB cable. No, mini. That's a mini USB cable. Yep. And uh, this looks like an actuator cable of sorts. Yeah, I f yeah, I'm not too sure which cape which this cable what what this cable is for, but I think I'll figure it out later. And then, oh, perhaps that might be for the remote here. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's for something else. And now, finally, the AC adapter for the H5, which will come in handy for long for long recording sessions. Yep, just like that. This is the AC adapter for the H5, which plugs in via USB here, which is really neat. And let's go ahead and move the rest. Oop. And now last but not least, the H5 portable recorder here. I was debating on getting the H4N Pro or this, and after some uh, after some research, I've uh, decided on getting the H5, considering that it is newer than the H4 than the H4N Pro, and I've never owned like I've never owned one of the professional portable recorders before, so I figured to get this one instead of the H4N Pro. Okay. Looks like this is some uh, documentation for it and uh, the quick guide. Seems pretty handy. Okay, is there anything underneath here? Nope, just a box to sort it. Put that aside. And um, I wonder what this cable is for. Oh, this might be uh, like the same one that came with the accessory. It. Yep, looks like it's the same exact uh, one though, just another copy. Uh, actually, this would uh, make sense for file transferring and the... Yeah, this, this looks like it would make sense for file transferring. Though, let's put that aside here. And, oh! This must be the foam casing for the microphones, for the capsule. That, that, ooh, that was close. I almost lost that. Yep, this is the foam casing. Is that supposed to be normal, that little bump here? Hmm, looks like it was... Hmm. <laughs> Not sure if uh, that's supposed to look normal, but let's move on. Now for the main event is the H... Here's the H5 portable recorder in its casing. Let's go ahead and unwrap this. And there it is, the H5. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to using the, I'll be looking forward to using this uh, sometime soon. XLR and TRS uh, inputs over there. That's where the batteries will go in, though I'm planning to power it via USB anyway. Those are the standard microphones that come with it and and just like that's detachable, which is pretty neat.
Though when it comes to when it comes to these ports, I also actually did manage to get two of these uh, TRS 10 foot cables because I am actually going to need this for future videos, which will mainly be going on my uh, music channel, which uh, I'm actually excited to share with you guys what what that will be first. And uh, I'm actually glad that these work right off the bat. All right, then let's go ahead and take these off. And thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing of my Zoom H5, which I can't wait to start using soon. And until next time, guys, have a good one.